This is the new Laxi FM transmitter and this is the KM30 version. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys, but this is a pretty small packaging. The reason I picked up this one over some of the others is because this one was advertised as one that has better bass and treble, and some of the previous ones that I've tested out didn't have really good bass or treble, so this one I picked up because this one states that the bass and treble will be much better. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's coming inside of this box when you purchase it. So once you open it up, the first thing you are greeted with is going to be the FM transmitter itself. It's going to be inside of this little sleeve right here. So just pull this out and you'll see this little tiny device um, where it transmits the music from your phone to the transmitter and then from the transmitter to your radio station. Right under this little plastic, there's going to be a little aux cable. This aux cable will be used if you don't want to use a Bluetooth and you want to plug in directly. Most people use Bluetooth, that's what I'll be using it for. And then the last thing is gonna be this uh, manual. I'm not gonna need to use this manual, but if you need to kind of learn how to use this device, you guys can look over that. So I'm gonna set that aside and pull out this transmitter. You guys can see that the transmitter itself has a little screen on top to kind of show you which station you're looking at and also the volume and some of the settings that you can adjust. On the side, there's gonna be a charge port and also a USB flash drive port if you wanna play direct from your flash drive. And on the other side, there's gonna be a port for your SD card. So this little cigarette lighter right here folds up and down so you can kind of make it so it fits correctly in your car so it's not sticking out anywhere it's not supposed to. Um, but so let's go ahead and just jump into the car and show you guys how this sounds with my stereo system. So here we are in my car. This is the Bluetooth transmitter and the vehicle that I drive that I'm using this Bluetooth transmitter with is a Toyota Camry 2013. The reason why I'm getting a Bluetooth transmitter or why I purchased this one is because this infotainment center right here, the Bluetooth on it went out. Now the FM radio still works, but the Bluetooth just didn't work and I brought it in to get it repaired and they were quoting me $1,200 to replace the whole unit because they couldn't figure out what was going on with the Bluetooth. So I decided not to do that and I decided to pick up this Bluetooth transmitter right here. Now I did pick up a different Bluetooth transmitter initially. I went to Best Buy, purchased one, and that one was about $30. It was from a different company. It was from Anchor and that one didn't do so well. When I plugged it in and I tried all the different channels, there was so much static on every single channel and on top of it, the music quality just wasn't there. I was trying to listen to music that had more bass to it, but the music sounded very flat when I was transmitting it to my radio. So when I was doing some research on Amazon, this one is advertised as having a lot of bass and treble. If you actually look at the unit, the buttons right here on the right, it does show that there's a bass button right there and then a treble button right there. And then just to kind of break it down for you, there is a, I mean, if this focuses, so there's the channel buttons for the radio tuner right here on the left and right. And then on the bottom, it's to skip and go back on the tracks that you're playing. It's also a volume knob. I don't know when you would actually use it, but you can also use it to pause your music by pressing it or just adjusting the volume. But I would just use the volume on my car. I wouldn't ever use that volume button. So let's go ahead and turn on my car and show you guys what this display looks like and how to set it all up. The car is currently turning on. This is what the Bluetooth transmitter looks like. So right now it is already paired to my phone. Um, you guys can see that it says Bailey's phone right there. I'm gonna pull up my iPhone to show you guys what that looks like. So if you go to the Bluetooth settings, you guys can see right here, it's set up as KM30 right there and it says connected so it's very simple to connect I'm actually disconnect from it real quick and show you guys how to connect it so disconnected from it and now it's showing that I need to connect it says Bluetooth KM30 so you go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone and like I said you want to find the KM30 and it says not connected so I'm going to click on that it's going to connect and it's gonna change the display right there and now it's finally connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the settings on this Bluetooth transmitter real quick before playing some music. So you guys can obviously change the volume right here and then the bass and the treble, you guys can adjust it with the volume knob so you can click bass, adjust the bass and same with the treble. So let's bump that back up and then as far as the stations go, let's go back here 
you can adjust the stations. I have it set to 88.5. I'm gonna turn on my radio, and I do have it at 88.5. Um, so right now there is no sound coming out from this radio station, which is really nice. So there's no static. I've never had this happen with the previous transmitter, but right now it is set to 88.5. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a song from YouTube. I'm gonna try to grab one that's not copywritten. So I just went to no copyright sounds on YouTube. Just select one of these songs. It's playing right now. So you can adjust the volume, turn it down. Now obviously the audio quality will not be justice through the camera, but I will tell you from my opinion, the bass is there compared to some of the other Bluetooth transmitters that I've used. You guys can see if I turn up the volume. And then if you wanna you know, pause the music, you can press this button right here, the volume button. It'll pause the music. And if you wanna play it again, you can press the button again. And then if you wanna go to the next song, you can press next. It'll switch songs or you even go back. Just like that. And then I'm gonna show you guys the bass adjustment. So I'm gonna turn down the bass. And even the treble. Let's turn on the volume. So obviously, like I said, you guys won't really hear the sound difference. But let me tell you guys, Comparing this to the one that I purchased from Best Buy, this one is far better. It was cheaper and it is way better in terms of the usability on it. It's so much easier to use this one. The buttons are very reactive. You can even adjust the bass on the treble, which you couldn't do on the one that I purchased from Best Buy. And on top of it, the sound quality is just tremendously better. I'm definitely going to keep this Bluetooth transmitter and going to continue to use it for the music that I have on my phone. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Hopefully this kind of gave you an idea as to whether or not this Bluetooth transmitter is worth it. I know there's some other ones on Amazon from this company, but they don't advertise that one as a Bluetooth transmitter that has bass and treble. This one is advertised as that. So if you guys wanna purchase one of these Bluetooth transmitters, I will leave a link in the description down below with the best pricing on Amazon. And if you guys wanna support the channel, please use that link down below. And like always, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace. Everywhere.